the evidence I collected proves that the Earth is flat, which is ridiculous. But I welcome anyone to challenge this evidence and show me how it says anything other than the Earth is flat. There's no possible way Greybeard should be right here. It should be there, roughly speaking. We should not be able to see it. So this is the conundrum, the paradox, the thing that I have tried to figure out ever since I collected this data. And to verify the 770 foot number that I referenced, I'm going to use some mainstream sources for Earth curvature. This is DizHub, as you can see. It's a heavily used Earth curvature calculator by flat earthers and others as well. We're going to put in our numbers here. Our eye height is the height that we are above what we are observing. And that's going to be zero because the test that I designed incorporates three equal heights. So that'll be zero. It would be the same as if your camera was exactly at sea level and you were recording straight out across the water. So your camera is level or zero feet above what is being observed, which is the ocean in that case. And the same would be true for a camera at 10 feet above sea level. Imagine you're filming objects floating in the water that are 10 feet tall. Well, the camera would be zero feet above the tops of the floating objects. So the eye height here would be zero. And our target distance is 34 miles. If I calculate that, we get 770 feet, which is exactly the amount of declination I said. The only have. explanation I can come up with is that the surface they're protruding from is flat and not curved. But if there is another explanation and someone could offer it to me and it makes sense, I am perfectly willing to accept it.